Did you ever want to create your own iPhone wallpapers? Well, I did just create this one right here and it was really easy. And you can do that with this app called Effect, which is one of the 10 apps that I'm about to show you guys in this video that I believe you must try out in April 2023. A lot of them are actually very, very useful. And we're starting things off here with Effect, which is an app that allows you to create your own custom wallpapers. So right here on the app, you will have like different patterns that you can use and of course create all kinds of different wallpapers. So you can choose here from different stuff, different patterns, mass around here with all the different tools that it offers, of course, change colors, change shapes, and all that stuff. And you can come up with some pretty cool things, of course, some pretty cool wallpapers for your device. What it allows you to do is also have a photo as the base of that wallpaper. And you can do that simply by tapping here and loading any picture you want from your camera roll. And once you have done that, then of course you can use that picture as the base for your wallpaper and here you can just pick out of course all kinds of different patterns and then go ahead and mess around with them and create your own little wallpaper which will actually look pretty cool on your device once you have done all this just tap that little arrow right there you can go ahead and export it to your camera roll hyperduck is up next and this is probably the most useful app that you will find in this video hyperduck allows you to send links to your mac from anywhere on ios now if you have an iphone and you have a mac you know that you don't need this when you're close to your mac you have something open on your iphone you can just continue on your mac as easy as that without having to have another app but what do you do if you're somewhere like far away from your computer or maybe even outside the house or outside the office if you find a link that you need you will probably have to save it somewhere and then go ahead and find it on your mac and open it well you have that problem solved with hyperduck it is free you install it on your iphone and on your mac and this is how it works i find a link that i need all I have to do, even if, though I'm not close to the Mac or the Mac is completely turned off, I just go ahead and tap right here, send to Mac, and it's done. The next time I open my Mac, the next time it is online, it will open the link automatically. And you can see right there, it did just open in the background, so I don't have to do anything. It won't save the link anywhere. It will just pop up on the screen. The next app for the video is called Poe. Now, this is a chat GDP app. A lot of apps nowadays, AI apps, ChatGTP apps, you can see them everywhere on the App Store. This one is actually pretty cool. Of course, you can chat here and ask ChatGTP anything you want. Right here, what you will see is the chat, and then you will see here what all others have posted, have shared, basically responses that they got from chat gtp but what you can do with this app is that you can tap there and you can switch between different bots and you can see right there for every one of them it will show you what they can and cannot do and of course you can ask them here anything you want like summaries right there you can see it will show you like basically an example of what it can do so you can just ask anything and it will give you proper responses shorts or pants have you ever wondered whether you should wear shorts or pants well the app which has that exact name will help you solve that problem and it's pretty cool so it's a weather app basically it will show you everything you need to know right here on this panel and it's really really cool i really love this app the way it looks the interface and everything here and it's very easy to use so basically you will pick a city you can have of course multiple cities on the list it will show you right here on this like squares everything you want to know like the air quality maybe right there the wind and anything you want the sky of course the highs and the lows and right there what you need to wear whether you should, should wear pants or you should wear shorts which is really cool now of course you can tap on each of these to get more details and you will have also the weather forecast right there you can change the unit simply by tapping there you can switch to any units you want and you'll see all these things right here you can tap there and you can add or remove any of them so if you have just a few you can tap the plus right there and add them or you can even rearrange them right here so you can swap basically places and just like that you can have your layout and have a really cool looking like panel here with all the weather information you need to know you can also tap on themes and you have three different themes to choose from 
Next up is Road Capture. Now this is a camera app from the well-known Rode company. It's actually pretty cool. I tried out this, this app and it works of course as a camera app should and it's actually really great with a lot of different features that you can use and of course get the best out of your camera. So right there at the top you will have first of all your microphone. You very rarely see this. You can adjust right there the volume of the microphone. Then you will have of course here the aspect ratio that you will have here. The, the format of the video, frames per second. And if you tap right there, you can have a countdown for the video. You have combined video right there, the flash on and off. Right here, you can zoom. Of course, you can tap on the camera here to start recording. And you will also have dual camera, so you can f just record with the front and with a back camera at the same time, which is really awesome. So really, really nice camera app that you can get for free from the App Store. Next up is Market. It allows you to watermark your photos. This is really awesome. So what you can do here is just add a photo and you're good to go. You will have a bunch of different tools here. So when you go to the watermark, it will say watermark, but of course you can add here anything you want, maybe your name or anything else you need. And then once you go here, you can change the angle right there. And right here, you can change the opacity of the letters there and then of course the size as well which is really cool now what it also allows you to do is instead of having this text right here where you can have your name or your company's name you can also add an image so you simply tap here and you load any image you want from the camera roll so as you can see right there we have an image here as of course the watermark you can use maybe the logo for your company or anything you want and then you will have of course again the same tools right there which you can apply here and you will have your image watermarked as it should and then just tap right there to save it under your camera roll. Next up is a really interesting app called Road Trip. Now with Road Trip you will basically have everything you need for a road trip in one app. So right there you can just enter your starting point and your destination and with the location service turned on it will show you restaurants, it will show you like gas, gas stops right there, you will have hotels here and of course the directions. It will show you right here how, ma how much gas you will spend during that trip. You can connect your music here and you will also have the weather forecast of the city where you're going to right here. Then you can switch to games and you will have some really cool games right here that you can play while traveling, while on a road trip. Maybe a license plate right here spotting, so you spot a license plate of course, you go ahead and select here and see how many license plates you can actually spot during that road trip. And you will also have things like state trivia here or just conversation starters, which is really cool for a road trip as well. So a pretty cool, nice to have app for anyone that wants to go on a longer road trip. Next up is Cookie Blocker. This is actually an extension for Safari. So you install the app. You don't need to actually open the app. You go to Safari, tap right there, and you will have manage extensions here. Make sure you have it enabled. So basically it will just block the pop-ups that you get every time you go to different websites that basically are asking you to allow them to use cookies. You can install this, enable it, and you're good to go. You won't see any of those pop-ups anymore. Next up is Tweet Flick. Now, how many times I've seen Twitter tweets just shared somewhere else and it's just like a screenshot or maybe it looks really bad. Well, with this app, you just copy the URL of the tweet you actually want to share somewhere else, paste it right there, tap on done. You can see what you get right there. A really nice picture with, of course, all the details of that tweet. You can again here customize it any way you like. You can change the position right there of the gradient and you will have the metrics right here. So you will have likes, retweets, quotes and replies. You can choose whether you want to show them or not on that picture. And then of course you can customize here the border and of course the opacity of the background. You can also change the font here and make the font bigger or smaller. Once you're done with that, you tap right here and you're good to go. You have this saved as actually a picture on your camera roll and you can share it anywhere you want. And we're ending things with a fun one. It's called Meme Search and it allows you to search memes based on content or text that's on that meme. So you can just tap here and search for everything you want. So if I search for iPhone here in this case, it will show me all kinds of like different memes that basically have the text iPhone on them or have to do 
with iPhone, you will find it done here. So if you just want to share like fun memes, you can find any one you want right here. So you find a meme, all you have to do is tap the share button and you can go ahead and save it under your camera roll. So that is it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and the apps on this video. If you want to download any of them, make sure to check out the pinned comment. You will find all the links there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.